Nanolite began as a lighting company aimed at the entry level market with a lot of room to grow, but they've since become a major player in the LED lighting game for both professionals and hobbyists alike. Now, Nanolite was very nice to send me their brand new Forza 300B, which is just a bicolor version of their already popular Forza 300. And I brought on a bunch of shoots with me and I was very, very happy with the performance. And we're gonna get into that in a second, but you're probably also wondering, how does it compare to the very similar Aperture 300X, which is also a 300 watt bicolor light? Well, we're gonna get into that as well. The first instance where the 300B pulled its weight was when I was shooting a documentary. We ended up on a location where we couldn't control the overhead lighting. Now being able to quickly dial in the color temp to match made for a very quick and simple setup. The second instance was shooting at dusk and having to run V-mount battery power. The light was almost too powerful and I had to dim it lower than expected. The light barely used any battery power over an hour of use. Another great use for a bicolor COB light is creating sunlight where there isn't any. On a rather miserable winter day, I shoved the 300B out of one window and into another to create a quick sunset look. Okay, so now let's discuss how the Nanlite Forza 300B compares to the Aperture Lightstorm 300X. Now I've used both of these lights considerably in their daylight versions, so I think I can tell you why you'd wanna choose one over the other. Uh, and let's first start off with the obvious, which is light output. The Nanlite 300B is listed as being 15% brighter than the Aperture 300X. In all of my tests, I found that the Forza 300B to be consistently one stop brighter. At $200 less than the Aperture, the Forza 300B packs the greatest punch for your pocketbook. Maybe not a big deal with one light, but if you're looking at buying or using more than one, then the cost savings and the light output really start to add up. Next up is color accuracy. Now this was fascinating to me. The two lights were wildly different here. The Aperture 300X was a bit warmer at both temps and very green. The Nanlite 300B scored much cooler at 3200, but was fairly neutral in tint. Shifting over to the 5600 Kelvin, it was more temperature accurate, but started to shift to green. In summary, the aperture is quite green, but consistent, where the Nanlite fares better in tint, but isn't consistent. Now let's talk about design. This is important because you can have a very powerful light, but if it's not that easy to use, then its value really starts to decline. The yoke tightening on the aperture is by far superior, only requiring one lever. The double knob variant on the Nanlite is potentially more secure, but can be frustrating to adjust at times. I mostly end up just loosening one and adjusting the other side. The ballast and controllers are all built in one for super easy setup and control. The Nanlite controller is larger, but I like how it can be hung or just stood up on the ground. When on the ground, the aperture controller is a little harder to use. When controlling the lights, the aperture has a bunch of really nice dials and features. But while aesthetic, makes it actually harder to make quick changes. I feel like I'm spinning the wheel forever. The one thing that separates professional lighting from consumer lighting is strong, clear buttons and dials. And it seems like Aperture just didn't really consider this. By contrast, the Nanlite is much easier to use. The dials are speed sensitive, they're easy to manipulate, and you can quickly jog between color temperature with a press. The Aperture 300X does have the option for various dimming curves. Basically, by switching to log over linear, the dimming curve is more logical to the human eye. Linear just means that from 100 to 50%, you're not really going to notice much of a change. And then it's a steep drop off to zero. Log makes this an even dim along the values. If you don't have this option with a light, then just assume that it's linear. I don't really see this as much of a necessary feature. If you've ever dimmed your house lights before, or you understand how stops of light work, then linear is perfectly fine. I've never really been on set thinking, oh, I wish this light had a logarithmic curve. As for connectivity, both of these lights come with a remote, which work great. Now, currently the Aperture lights are all controllable through the Sidious Link app. There is a similar app coming this year for the Nanlite products, but right now you either have to remotely control with the included remote or through DMX. Fan noise has been a bit of a topic with these lights as they've never really been noise free. The Aperture overall is the quieter light, but you only have two options, either all on or variable speed fan. Variable will be quieter, but its constant change will make your sound recorders pull their hair out. The Nanlite give or take is about seven decibels louder and there is no variable rate, but you do have the option to turn it off completely if you are okay with a light output drop of about two and one third stops. Now finally, wait. One thing I noticed about the Aperture is how much heavier it is. It's three pounds heavier than the Forza. The extra weight in the Aperture comes from its densely made ballast and its slightly larger metal fixture. Now this is maybe an issue if you're lugging a bunch of these all day long. Okay, here are my final thoughts. If you want a light with the maximum amount of punch for your pocketbook and you don't want to compromise on build quality or usability, then by far, the Nanlite Forza 300B is an excellent choice. 
If you like the extra distance that Aperture goes with refinement, like a better lever, nicer ballast clamp, a very beautiful bag, and fancy dimming curves, well, this is what you pay extra for. The devil, as they say, is always in the details. And that's it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, please subscribe to this channel for more videos like this and comment in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you have to say about these two lights. As for today, I'm done. Peace.